Last year, UNESCO launched a report that highlighted the impact of COVID-19 on museums as 90% of these institutions around the world has been affected by temporary closure. However, the Museums Association of Namibia is among the 10 countries in Africa that stayed connected with their audience using online platforms. What is important to note at this stage is that this website is not simply a lens that gazes into the past, but it engages the present and then builds on into the future. There are features that show us how fashion designers such as Kim Matthews are using their culture as inspiration for creating Namibian fashion collections that are unique. In addition, other features also show how Namibians are embracing and wearing their traditional clothing in the contemporary times. Historical collections from Namibia held at a museum in Berlin, Germany, and the ethnographic collection at the National Museum of Namibia in Vintuk are now accessible through this website. I would like to congratulate the Museum Association of Namibia for moving forward to develop the first virtual museum of its kind in Namibia. It was obvious for UNESCO to support the Museum Association of Namibia to make this virtual museum a reality, as we believe it set a model in the sector. The virtual Museum of Namibian fashion will create a market for Namibian fashion. Namibians around the country are encouraged to submit their cultural items through the online platform. Among the things exhibited is leather and animal skin processing, metal accessories, plants, bones and rocks, tattoo body scarifications, and textiles.